Hello friends, today I am going to demonstrate uh, how to perform artificial insemination in cow or in a buffalo. Uh, the instruments required for artificial insemination is an artificial insemination gun which is this. Uh, it contains a sheath um, and there is a semen straw inside it uh, which contains uh, uh, sperm cells, um, preserved spermatozoa. Uh, so uh, we need a plastic uh, or a polythene uh, gloves to protect ourselves from uh, any kind of infection that can result uh, due to handling of the animal and handling of the reproductive tract of the animal. So I insert my left hand uh, uh, through the rectum, this is the rectum and I, I grab hold of uh, the cervix uh, which is this part. I have opened it uh, to show you the rings of this cervix, otherwise this is a closed, uh, closed uh, structure. So after inserting my gun through rectum, uh, the AI technician or, or the artificial insemination technician grab holds uh, of uh, the cervix. Uh, uh, then uh, we insert the gun uh, through the vulva uh, into into the vagina uh, then we insert the gun through the vulva into the vagina and we look for the opening of the cervix this is the opening of the cervix so after entering the cervix we face the first ring and then we cross it I have crossed the first ring and then we look for the second ring then we cross the second ring and similarly we look for the third ring and finally we are inside the body of the uterus uh, uh, we drop the semen uh, either in the mid cervix or in or here this is the body of the cervix but uh, we have to take uh, enough precautions while uh, performing this artificial insemination that uh, the gun should be neat and clean it should not be contaminated with dung or any other substance uh, because uh, uterus is a very sensitive organ and uh, any kind of uh, impurity can lead to a big infection uh, which can ultimately ultimately lead to endometritis or and uh, the chances of pregnancy are then uh, very bleak so after uh, reaching the body of the uterus or uh, we can say mid cervix we then deliver uh, um, the uh, semen into the uterus by simply pressing this uh, piston and we drop this semen uh, into the uterus. Uh, sometimes we have to uh, do uh, some uh, intrauterine injections uh, in, in case there is uh, severe endometrites or pyometra. In that case, uh, we insert the AI gun similarly uh, into the through the cervix into the uterus and then we deliver. Uh, the antibiotic solution directly either in the body of the uterus or if the infection is uh, uh, more pronounced uh, in any of the harness then we go to the respective horn uh, here you see these are two horns of the uterus then we reach this horn suppose if we have to deliver here uh, the antibiotic solution then we remove this uh, tester or AI gun and then we uh, instead inject um, uh, we attach a syringe here for delivering the antibiotic solution we remove this AI gun and then we suppose this syringe contains an antibiotic solution then we attach the syringe here and we drop this antibiotic solution directly into the uterus suppose in this horn here or in for locating another horn we move back this sheath and then we look for the opening of the another horn here and I have removed this AI gun then we go for the dropping of antibiotic solution in the uh, next horn or in the left horn so this is the process of uh, performing artificial insemination this is an end metro uh, method uh, in practice it's a bit uh, uh, different but the principle remains the same we grab hold of the cervix and then we pass the AI gun through the cervix into the uterus. Thank you very much for watching.